Rechargeable batteries are important in many areas of our lives. We use them in our phones, our laptops and even in electric vehicles. Some of the materials that we use to make batteries are becoming scarce, therefore it's essential that we find ways to recycle them. Batteries have three main parts, a positive electrode, an electrolyte and a negative electrode. When we recycle a battery, we want to separate these parts. In this experiment, the chocolate represents the two electrodes and the honeycomb is the electrolyte. Let's start with a type of recycling called pyrometallurgy. Batteries are shredded and then heated in order to melt them. That melted mixture can then be mixed with other materials to make new batteries. First, break up your crunchy bar into small pieces using a rolling pin. crushed crunchy bar into a microwave proof bowl and heat it in the microwave until it's melted. You'll need to stir the mixture every 30 seconds and be careful as it gets hot. Once it's melted you'll be able to scoop the mixture into an ice cube tray and put it in the fridge to set. Once it's set look at your chocolate. Does it look as good as your original crunchy bar? Our second type of recycling is called hydrometallurgy. Like before, we start by shredding the battery, but then we separate out the different parts of the battery by dissolving them in a solvent. In this experiment, we use warm water to represent the solvent. When you stir your crushed crunchy bar in the warm water, you can see different things happening to the chocolate and the honeycomb. Is there any way to get the honeycomb and the chocolate out of the water? What happened to them when they were added? Our third recycling method involves separating battery components and is known as closed loop recycling. In this method, battery material is not shredded. To make this easier, you can separate your crunch bar into three blocks. In this recycling method, the main aim is to separate the materials in a non-destructive way, which means you do not want crushed up battery material. A knife is used to try to separate the chocolate and the honeycomb non-destructively. Be careful when using a knife. You want as little chocolate contaminated with honeycomb and as little honeycomb contaminated with chocolate as you possibly can. Can you think of any other ways to completely separate the chocolate and honeycomb? Which was the best separation method? As you can see, battery separation is not easy. Battery researchers at the University of Birmingham are trying to find better ways to do this. 